Hello and welcome to GXG Aviation. In this video, we will be looking at how aircraft can land with no pilot inputs using Autoland. First, let's see what is meant by Autoland. Autoland is a system which performs an aircraft's landing automatically. The Autoland is extremely helpful if the visibility at or around the airport is very low because of bad weather. The Autoland system makes use of different systems and components such as the Autopilot, Autothrust, Radio Altimeter, Flight Controls, Auto Brakes on the landing gear and the Nose Wheel Steering System. How does the Autoland function? To perform a landing, the Autoland system makes use of different systems and control surfaces. The autopilot is required to guide the aircraft during the descent phase to maintain the aircraft on the correct glide path. The autopilot will also adjust the aircraft's heading in order to match with the runway's center line. In case of any winds or gusts, the aircraft may deviate from the correct flight path. The autoland system and the autopilot keep the aircraft in the correct descent path using different flight controls such as the horizontal stabilizer, the elevator, the rudder and the ailerons. The auto thrust is needed to maintain the required thrust by adjusting the fuel flow to the engines during descent and during landing. While descending, the auto thrust will reduce the thrust to idle, but in most aircraft, the pilots are also required to manually reduce the thrust to idle and then engage reverse thrust when the landing gear touches the ground. The radio altimeters give a very accurate reading of the height of an aircraft from the ground. The Autoland system uses this to ensure that the aircraft is descending safely. Once the aircraft has landed, the Autoland system engages the brakes on the landing gear using the auto brake system on the aircraft. The auto brakes will ensure a smooth deceleration of the aircraft on ground and also prevent skidding of the aircraft. The nose wheel steering system is also linked with the Autoland system to ensure the aircraft stays on the runway's center line. When an aircraft lands, the rudder is initially used to keep the aircraft centered on the runway. As the speed reduces, the effectivity of the rudder reduces and the nose wheel steering system is used to keep the aircraft centered on the runway. How to activate Autoland? In order to activate Autoland, the Navate frequencies should be tuned. For landing on a particular runway, an Instrument Landing System or ILS should be installed and must be operational to perform an Autoland. The frequency of that ILS should be tuned in the aircraft and the Autopilot and the Auto Thrust should be turned on. Normally, if there are two Autopilot systems, both the autopilots should be set to on to ensure a fail-safe design. This means that even if one autopilot fails, the other autopilot will take over and land the aircraft safely. Once the aircraft has landed, the pilots can disconnect the autopilots and taxi the aircraft to its designated parking spot. What is a pilot's role during an autoland? The Autoland is capable of safely descending and landing the aircraft on the runway. The pilots are responsible for monitoring different parameters and systems during an Autoland. This is because in case of a failure of a component or a system, the pilots are responsible for taking control of the aircraft and maneuver the aircraft safely if required. Failures associated with the Autopilot, Auto Thrust, flight controls or the landing gear may have an impact on the Autoland. 
Because of the Autoland system, even in low visibility conditions, aircraft are able to land at a particular destination instead of diverting to an alternate airport. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, do subscribe and you can continue watching some of my other videos as well.